Good morning, UPBOptionMillionaires.com. It is Tuesday, June 26, 2018. S&P 500 futures are up six tenths of percent. We are off the lows that we saw yesterday. Look at that. S&P 500 futures came right down at a 2700 level. Well, guess back, guess what? Heading back into the start of 2018, uh, right at the end of 2017, that 2700 level was acting as resistance. It was lit on this market. And once we broke through it, boom, an explosive rally up to record highs for the S&P 500, the S&P 500 ETF, the spiders. Uh, before pulling back that massive pullback that we saw uh, heading into February 2018. Well, yesterday we gained the 2700 and we bounced, acting a strong support. Keep an eye on that. The VIX also down this morning. Uh, the VIX down at about 16. We're down 2.5% uh, at 1691. And if you look, uh, each of the, the moves, swift moves we've had up in the VIX, we're up almost 40%, almost 50% yesterday in the VIX before we pull back, uh, just like we were back in May and April, and we have these swift moves to the upside for the VIX that are ultimately reversed to the downside, implying a bounce, a rally in the stock market. Uh, ultimately, this reversal here back that we saw in May led to new all-time record highs in small caps in the in the NASDAQ. So we'll see what this, re this reversal off the highs is going to lead us to here for the market. The SP 500 has yet to make new record highs since the start of the year. That's something to watch. Uh, the NASDAQ is bouncing this morning. Uh, NASDAQ 100 futures are up uh, almost two tenths of a percent. You see a really nasty candle. Uh, so we'll see if this reversal holds. And if you look, uh, heading into 2018, this has been a nice steady grind. After the decline that we saw at the start of the year, we saw another decline in March. Uh, so each of these rollovers has lasted a couple of weeks. We'll see if this one is more of the short lived variety. Uh, it could be. I'm looking at support levels here for, uh, we'll go into Google in a second, but look at the NASDAQ QQQ. We came right to that 170 level uh, and held strong support there. And if you look at a shorter term time frame, we barely broke through it before bouncing st almost straight up late in the session on the 30 minute candle there. The SPY, SP Powder ETF, the spiders, you can see holding support before we bounce. This is the channel that we were in for two weeks before breaking to the upside. And look at it. Uh, in one trading session, we broke through this channel that we were in for two weeks. Uh, came down to the bottom and found support and we bounced. Uh, that's pretty bullish for the market. Uh, some names to watch. I think uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, but if you look, uh, the DIA, the Diamonds, has been down three weeks in a row. Three weeks. And uh, looking for a reversal here. So some blue chip names to watch. FedEx after its earnings report, which was pretty well. Um, pretty good numbers, but not well received <laughs> via the price of the stock, which has been tumbling from 260 to the low 230s, and you look, you draw a trend line across the low 230s, a great possible su support line here for FedEx, some calls for a reversal to the upside. All of the earnings declines have ultimately led uh, to new all-time record highs for FedEx. Another chart to watch, uh, NVIDIA came down to support yesterday, looks ripe this morning, analyst out with a, a, a bullish uh, price target. A couple other names to watch. Uh, we have that Google breaking out recently uh, at the end of May. Uh, came down to support yesterday before bouncing. Looks poised for new all-time record highs. So that'd be Google. We had NVIDIA. Now, if you want to look for some downside, you're bearish here. We're talking about Amazon, uh, you can see the, the moves lower that we've seen over the last six months have started with a record high. We saw it back in March. Started to roll over, and we had four weeks in a row of downside for Amazon. Are we going to get that here? Uh, it's too early to tell. But it could be the start of something. We're also seeing with Netflix after hitting record highs, a pretty sharp reversal. And if you look on a shorter term time frame, this doesn't look too pretty for Netflix. Although this morning's back over 390 pre-market. Analysts came out with $503 price target. 503 not 502 not 504 $503. Uh, a couple other bearish charts. If you're a bear still, uh, how about Caterpillar? When we go back on a two-year time frame for Caterpillar and we bring up cats. Uh, you can see it's breaking out of this wedge to the downside. That's pretty bearish. Uh, could you imagine support here? A lot of empty space, a nice pocket down to 100. Could you imagine with Caterpillar? Uh, DE, uh, if you're looking for a support test here for DE, it would be at about the 132 level. It still has not broken that, so we got a lot of room to the downside before support comes. And then again, a big pocket of air for DE, Deer and Company. So couple bearish charts to look at. They're still bullish on GME. GameStop has been moving off the lows. as a 10-year support line. We go back 20 years. 10-year support. We're bouncing off it. Previously bounced off it. 
in 2012 in a sharp move up into the 40s. Gosh, we'll just take 20 here on GME. Uh, looking to go out already in the July calls. Looking to go out to October. All right, UPBOptionMillionaires.com. Everyone have a good trading session. Again, we're looking at the NASDAQ. Uh, it held that 170 level. That was a tough level uh, to break through previously. We held it, the level yesterday. Uh, we continue to hold this level. That would be bullish for this market. S&P 500 ETF, the spiders. We're back in the channel. Uh, held support yesterday. You can see held support. Uh, that's bullish for the market. So looking for upside off the lows here to see a, a short-term relief rally. And I do think if there's going to be weakness, it's going to be tech. Uh, we've seen it in the past over the last couple of years. S&P 500, Dow Jones Industrial Average could be flatter up, but we could have a, a, a downside move to the tech still uh, in spite of that. All right, you PB Option Millionaires.com. See you in the chat room.